Hello children, welcome to the second of my Christmas videos and this reading video is called Saint Nicholas and the Children. Again, it's from our friends at Storytime magazine and you know that we've got lots of these Storytime magazines in the school. This one is all about Saint Nick and I'm going to warn you now, it's quite frightening at times but it all turns out okay in the end. And um, Saint Nicholas or Saint Nick is sometimes another word or another phrase for Father Christmas. So, a story about Father Christmas. Once upon a time, two children named Pierre and Estelle lived with their grandmother in the forests of Northern Canada, it's near to America. They were twins and looked alike, but Pierre had brown hair, whilst Estelle, she was blonde. In the darkest part of winter, their grandmother got ill and had to stay in bed. She told them, My dears, the only thing that will make me healthy again is meat soup. Can you go out and get me some nice meat so we can make some? Pierre and Estelle agreed. They put on their warmest clothes and set off into the snowy wilderness. After trudging through the snow for an hour, they saw smoke rising from a little cabin and went towards it. There they are. Those are the two characters. Outside the cabin, they saw a tiny looking man who was carving wooden whistles. The children looked on in wonder as his knife shaped the maple wood. A maple is a kind of tree. The man said, hello children, what are you doing in these woods on such a frosty day? Estelle replied, we are looking for meat with which to find, to make broth or soup for our grandmother. She's terribly ill. The old man told them, well, if I had some meat, I would give it to you. But I'm a vegetarian. Further down the path, there's a butcher. You can get meat from him. Pierre was excited at the news. Thank you, sir. The old man gave them a serious look and told them, if you go to the butcher, be careful. They say he is a mean man, not to be trusted. He then handed them two of the whistles he had carved. I make these whistles for St. Nicholas. And he gives them as great gifts. Two children at Christmas. If you're in danger, blow your whistle and help will come to you. Pierre and Estelle thanked him most kindly and set off down the path towards the butcher's shop. The children were nervous about going there after what they had been told about the butcher. But when they saw the shop, they were amazed. In the window were great hams, poles of sausages, roast turkeys and delicious cakes with berries on top. Oh. They did not know what to expect when they timidly, carefully, shyly opened the door. But the butcher turned out to be a tall, red-cheeked man and he was very pleased to see them. Oh my, what brings us your children to my shop on such a chilly day? Sit by the fire and warm yourselves. He gave them sweet tea and cakes and asked them what they wanted. We're here looking for some meat to make broth soup for our sick grandmother, said Estelle. Oh, what good children you are to care for your granny, boom the butcher. I keep my finest cuts in that barrel over there. You must take your pick. He took Estelle and Pierre over to the great barrel by the counter and then lifted him up so they could see inside. However, the children saw that the barrel, barrel was empty. And there they are, just looking in there. The butcher gave an evil laugh and dropped them in before slamming the lid shut. How lucky it was that you two visited my shop today. I get my meat from a wicked ogre who hunts in these woods. He will give me as many pounds of juicy meat if I can give him a child. Think how much he will give me for twins. <laughs> Estelle and Pierre were terrified. But then Pierre, he remembered the whistles the kindly man had given them earlier. By wriggling round in the barrel, 
He was able to get his whistle out of his pocket and blow on it. The only sound he could make was a little peep. The butcher laughed when he heard it. Whistle as hard as you can, my little darlings. Nobody will hear you. But just then, they heard the door of the shop swing open and there was a heavy stomping sound. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Estelle was frightened it was the ogre come to collect them. However, when she peeked out of a knot hole, she saw it was a big man who was stamping his feet to get the snow off his snowshoes. He had a hooked nose and a bushy white beard and wore a great scarlet coat trimmed with fur. Can you guess who it might be? What can I get you, sir? boomed the butcher. Ham, fruitcake or a pie, perhaps? None of those, said the mysterious bearded man. I fancy a nice pickle from that barrel over there. The butcher went over to a big pickle barrel in the corner and fished one out, but the old man said, not that one. The biggest and juiciest pickles are right at the bottom. When the butcher leaned down into the barrel, the old man gave him a sudden shove. The butcher found himself stuck upside down in the barrel, quite unable to escape. Well, he kicked and struggled, the old man went over to the barrel, holding the children, and quickly pried the lid off with a knife. So there's Saint Nick opening the barrel, and there's the naughty, naughty, naughty butcher upside down. The old man said, Dear children, I heard your whistle, I am Saint Nicholas, and I have come to help you escape. He got them out of the barrel and hurried them into the snowy night. But Pierre grabbed some bacon on the way out. The sun was setting and snow was whipping through the woods. Behind them, they heard a deep roar and saw a monstrous figure loom out of the darkness. It must be the ogre come to visit the butcher. The ogre gave a roar and charged out after them. There you can see the, the ogre just there. St Nicholas put the children on his back and began running through the woods on his big snowshoes. But the ogre was close behind. St Nicholas then ran across a frozen stream. The ogre followed them, but its heavy footprints, well, they caused the ice to crack and it fell into the stream with a great splash. St Nicholas took Pierre and Estelle home to their grandmother. He gave them all gifts and treats from the great bag he carried. And they celebrated their narrow escape. That's a Christmas story from Canada. A bit frightening. But it all ended up well in the end. So, I'm going to do a third video in a moment. But in the meantime, if this is the last one that you see, have a lovely Christmas and uh, look after yourselves. Happy Christmas.